Welcome to the irrigation station. Today we're going to be going over estimating soil moisture by feel and some tips and tricks on ground truthing. But before we go out in the orchard, make sure you reference the irrigation continuum on page 102 to get a better fundamental understanding of what we're doing. So the first thing we need to do now is select our site. So we want to make sure that we're within the wetted area and make sure that we're in a representative area as well underneath the canopy of the tree. So I like to take three turns at a time. This is an old trick that uh, Alan Fulton had actually showed me. If you go too many turns, you can compact the soil into the auger and it can be difficult to get out. So you're gonna to wanna to take the soil out to the end of your auger and identify what our soil type is. If you're not aware of this, you can use your trifold, the NRCS estimating soil moisture by field. And there is a nice flow chart on the back here that helps guide you through the soil types. So once you've identified it, I just kind of lay it on the ground and we're going to go down uh, six inches at a time and take a measurement. And I take a feel and I look down at my flip chart and identify where I'm at based off of the graphics. So what you're looking for as you're going down is to see if there's consistency or variability within soils and seeing if the moisture has changed. We're now down to about two feet and our moisture has, has decreased slightly from where it was in the beginning. This is important to identify where that happens so that you know how deep your irrigation got as well as how much available moisture you have for your irrigation schedule. I wanna show you another little trick. If you've got a water bottle in your truck, take a little bit of water, maybe about a cap full, and pour into your hand. Now what this will help tell you is how close are you to field capacity? As you can see, it didn't take very much to get this lighter textured soil back to field capacity. Once we get down to about three feet, we notice that our soil moisture has changed. As you can see, it's now dry and, and crumbly. This tells us that our last irrigation event didn't quite get down to about three feet, but it also lets us know exactly how much available moisture we have in our irrigation schedule. Understanding your available soil moisture is key to overall plant health. Now that we're finished augering our holes and we've ground truth and we've gone through and we know what our soil types are, it's time to go back and complete our irrigation schedule. Be sure to check out sustainablealmondgrowing.org and take advantage of the free irrigation calculator that's available to you as an almond grower.